In our last edition of the Open Alliance show for the Crescendo season, Celtex is back on to go through some of their opportunities, struggles, and where the current progress is on their Crescendo robot. They got a really cool design so far, so we're going to be talking about scoring in the amp, uh, potentially without an amp mech as well too, what they've been doing for that, uh, future things and what they might have to do some weight reduction on. They've had some weight struggles and trying to figure out how they can get their weight down for the Crescendo season as well too. So really interesting uh, to hear about how teams approach these challenges in the Crescendo season. A lot of our great stuff to mention as well too uh, with this robot. We'll be talking about the revisions on their intake, what they've been looking at doing for that, and going into a bit more on software, talking about their zero bot code uh, and also different statuses of their uh, robot as well too and the statuses of their shooter and of their different software area. So let's learn more about what their current progress is here on the Open Alliance Show. The FRC Premiere Night is back for Crescendo on Saturday, February 24th. Submit up to a two-minute video showcasing your robot in celebration of this build season. Submissions are due by Thursday, February 22nd. Submit your reveal video and get submission requirements at firstupdatesnow.com slash premiere24. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. Joining us is going to be 5406 uh, Celtex coming in from Canada. We're so excited to have them back on the Open Alliance show, talk about their progress for it. Yeah, obviously, we see the robot in front of us, so we can't wait to dive into that, but a lot of other cool stuff to cover as well, too. So let's welcome back our two students from uh, 5406. Do you mind reintroducing yourselves? Let us know what you do on the team. It's so great to have you back. All right. Uh, my name is Cordelia, and I am a programmer. Uh, my name is Cohen, and I am a design student. So lots to cover uh, on this robot. We obviously have uh, some uh, uh, mechanisms in front of us here, but what do you want to dive into first? Uh, well, first we should probably uh, dive just into the robot itself. Um, last time we were on the show, we of course didn't have a whole robot to show. So uh, what, what we have here uh, is our alpha bot. Uh, we're hoping to transition into maybe a beta bot much later in the season. But uh, we have our shooter here where the nose can come through, can pivot up. Uh, this is powered by currently four vortexes. We might change that. Uh, but basically, you can pivot up to 65 degrees maximum. Uh, well, it can pivot more than 65 degrees, but that's where we have it right now uh, for the maximum shot. And uh, we have a trap mechanism on it as well, where uh, if the trap is like over um, up here, the robot goes all the way up and the note travels uh, all the way up to the top corner, kind of up here. Just kind of up through here-ish and it'll eventually kind of pop out yeah. there. I'm going to put this down now. Yeah. Oh, the note did not like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, recently uh, on, our, on our latest chief post, uh, we've had some struggles with weight, which I personally wasn't expecting. Same. So, <laughs> I, I was really not expecting that we would be over the weight limit in our minimum, let alone our maximum. Yeah. So uh, we've been brainstorming some ways to fix that. Uh, I guess I can I can go into uh, some of the first ways we were uh, thinking of fixing that. So um, right now, our shooter takes up like a lot of weight as well as our chassis. Our chassis can't be lightened a whole lot. Uh, it's we were chassis. Thinking, yeah, we, we were thinking of maybe changing the plates to be made out of uh, aluminum instead of steel like we have right now and generally changing like less important things like our battery um, enclosure here um, to change it to a different material or just redesign it so that it takes up much less weight. Um, our shooter right now, um, I believe each of these wheels is almost two pounds or something crazy like that. And we have eight of them as our flywheels. So um 16 16 pounds just from our wheels yeah something like that and so uh one of the uh easiest ways we're getting rid of weight is just by getting rid of four of the flywheels so then we'll still have like the four points of contact uh on the note but not have so much weight on our flywheels so have you had any chance uh, to do any testing on that yet in regards to shooting out with that current config we have not this is literally like when we posted that uh, our, our latest post, 
that was pretty much when we figured out we were overweight. And gotcha. this is the first meeting since then where we've been able to um, start working on fixing some of those problems. Uh, we're, we're also uh, looking at, there's actually no climber on this robot right now, but um, we're thinking of either maybe ditching a climber entirely or um, changing the climber design um, to get underweight. That would, it would be really easy to just take the climber off. It would just strategically really impact us. So we're trying to look into ways to uh, keep the climber, but save the weight. Because our climber is actually really nice. It works really well. Um, and it's relatively lightweight, like only 16 pounds out of it all. And it sucks that it's probably the one thing that we will have to take weight off of mm -hmm. because our shooter is just so heavy. So the way that your current uh, trap config is, so you were able to score that from the ground, right? You're not reliant on actually climbing the score. Is that correct? Uh, in theory, we have not tested the trap shot from the floor with this robot currently. Gotcha but we will there. most likely be climbing up to get the trap. Uh, yeah, to get the trap score. Yeah. Okay. So this, I guess the question with that is if you're potentially considering moving uh, a climber, is a climber still potentially something you might add on like later on during the season? Like, do you think there's a way to find it or is it just based on your weight right now, there's really not a path forward to potentially have a climber? I think we'll still have a climber. It'll just be a lot like, just like a simple hook. Um, and gotcha. with the way we're going, we might not be able to score in the trap with how it is like that might be a beta bot or after our first event which is durham uh requirement but for now we're just trying to get our robots working no that yeah. that, that makes sense in there and then from the the mechanism you have for your trap is that also scoring in the amp as well too like is it the same process of how that works so that like that wouldn't necessarily modify your amp scoring process yes yeah and that's actually another way we can save weight um this is actually longer than it needs to be to score in the amp just so we can score in the trap. We can actually save a lot of weight by reducing the length of this whole thing. Like this is pretty long and we can probably cut it to like here or something, yeah. which is and we've, like we've, half of it. We've actually um, just today even done tests with just the shooter. This thing uh, wasn't even assembled on and we were able to score on the amp with just the shooter um, at the right angle. It was a bit slow, um, but getting that data is helpful to us because we might just be able to scrap this whole mechanism entirely shoot into the trap i don't know we're we're kind of in a huge brainstorming mode right now yes. uh, with all this <laughs> huge brainstorming mode just trying to figure out like okay do we do trap and do we shoot and trap or do we keep this trap mechanism and yeah, it's a so whole thing. I guess what pops in my head is maybe the, the alternate avenue. Do you maybe get rid of the trap where you can reduce that weight? And then would that allow you to keep your climber potentially? Or is that not a viable path? Or is that not a priority uh, for what your team would be looking at doing? Uh, unfortunately, when we did our strategic analysis at the beginning of the season, scoring in the trap and being able to climb were both like pretty much we have to do this because our goal was to kind of control our own destiny um, and be able to um, get both RPs aside from uh, the RP from winning. And to do that, we need to be able to score into the trap just to, and be able to climb just to guarantee that we can get that ensemble RP almost every time. Uh, so we, we don't want to sacrifice any of these. Um, and we're looking into like every little way to save weight um, to keep them. But right now it's, uh, it's just not looking super certain. Like, like Cordelia said, for a climber, we might even just skip the whole wheel thing. Um, on that video, we have these wheels that um, go all the way up the wall. We might be able to put those on this mechanism, just kind of stick wheels on the side of it, or just simply go to just a simple hook design that uh, put us down. Sure. Let's talk about a couple of different other areas of your robot, too. Uh, I noticed that there's a video out of you doing some uh, intake revisions as well. So let's talk to us about your current state of uh, the intake and, of course, how that coordinates with the rest of that note journey as well, too. Yeah. So sure. uh, I'll kind of spin the robot around to the intake here. So this is our intake. Uh, current way we have it is kind of like that grasshopper's intake um, where it's, uh, it's under bumper. It's uh, mounted to the frame of the robot, so it's not not moving at all. It's and, kind of hard to demonstrate when it's like yeah, fully it, kind of on the ground with no tread. Yeah, but our, eventually our, it would go in through. There's a it gets compressed a lot. 
Yeah, don't worry about it. You don't yeah. have to demonstrate. Yeah, and we, and, we do the, and we do have the video that you sent us as well too. We'll put that up on screen so people can see that that process and flow as well. Yeah, it, it works like that. Yeah. So, uh, we we've been uh, going through multiple revisions on actually centering the note here, and uh, the the first stage of that centering is actually these little three um, D printed. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what you would call these. It's kind of just like slides that the note goes on, yeah. and that's just to do the first stage of centering where if we um, hit the note like with the side of our intake, um, it'll just begin the process of centering. Um, and we've tried to do passive rollers. Many teams have been successful with them, uh, having passive rollers like um, somewhere close to where it actually feeds into the shooter. But we've tried multiple iterations um, of even changing the width of our rubber so we would only have grippy parts in the center. And none of it seemed to be working for us. So um, we've opted for a powered centering where we're going to have uh, uh, vertical rollers over here that will um, help push the note um, up through the intake and into the shooter. Got it. What kind of what kind of motor are you looking at using uh, for that? Uh, we're just going to uh, be using regular Neos, I believe, for the whole intake. There, there's actually going to be two motors for the whole thing. Uh, we're going to have 90 degree gearboxes that power um, these vertical uh, centering wheels. Um, this most likely, go ahead. Uh, this is most likely another way to save weight just sort of like finding a way to reduce the amount of rollers because there's a lot of rollers here probably more than we need yeah we're, we're actually thinking of getting rid of these middle rollers here uh but that's something that we just started tackling today so it's really hard to say what direction we're continuing with yeah well we know you'll figure it out um, with all these aspects obviously time crunch is coming up but uh we'll know you work hard to uh, continue to get through it um so before we move into software we mentioned a little bit about the shooter but i want to go in just a little bit more because we do have that shooter testing video that you did uh so there's anything else you want to add in regards to current shooter progress other than uh the wheel changes anything else from your testing that you found well uh i would honestly like to say that the shooter worked almost perfectly first time uh, oh yeah it we, shot it shoots like 30 feet which is more than our curtain which is more than the field the actual size field which is awesome um it just works really great so it kind of sucks that we have to like find a way to reduce weight and possibly reduce how well it works because of our weight silly weight limits so yeah. so this current yeah. config that we're seeing this in this this won't unfortunately be the final because you will have to reduce some weight right Yes. Yes. We're thinking of immediately getting rid of uh, two, two of the motors. It's powered by four motors right now. Gotcha. Uh, and it, it just helps us so much if we can just get rid of at least two of them. Well, we'll look for the, the testing results on that as well, too. You know, and, and like you said, you know, you're shooting from really far ways away. You might find out that you'll be just fine, right? You never know uh, in, until you do that testing. So, I, I, you know, I have confidence in your design. I think it's going to look out great uh, for that. Uh, let's start to wrap up on your robot. Talk about uh, software processes. What's the current status of your software? Any cool things that you're working on or developing that you want to highlight? Um, our current status on our software is that it's actually going really great. A lot of our rookies are just doing amazing. They're catching on and they've programmed like most of our robots code right now. Um, for cameras, we are planning on using multiple cameras. So we want to reduce sort of how much space that takes. So we figured out a way to get two cameras running on one orange pie, which is nice. Um, they also run at a nice FPS of 50 FPS. Um, it's great. Um, in terms of our code, you can expect um, like a public release of our Zerobot code either today or tomorrow. This is final. I, this is not what I said a couple days ago. Um, yeah, this is final. Either today or tomorrow, you will see a public release of a zero of our Zerobot code. Um, you'll be able to see what, how we do it, what it's like using both um, Purple Haze's library and uh, yeah. And right now we are working on getting our Alphabot chassis to drive uh, right as we speak. Um, so hopefully that will be done today or tomorrow. Uh, and that's our update on software. It's going really great. 
Well, I'm glad to hear, you know, we'll end on a, on a good note with that, too, that software is in a good state. Uh, we know your mechanical side, lots to work on for it, so we're going to let you get back to work uh, as we, of course, are starting to get into the week six, right? Time's ticking with that, and we can't wait to see what your team comes up with. We know you'll be up to the challenge. We can't wait to see how you tackle it. So, South Tech, thank you very much, though, for giving us an update, taking time out of your busy schedule, and we can't wait to keep following you on the OA blog, and good luck during the competition season, too. Thank you very much. Thank you. The FRC Premiere Night is back for Crescendo on Saturday, February 24th. Submit up to a two-minute video showcasing your robot in celebration of this build season. Submissions are due by Thursday, February 22nd. Submit your reveal video and get submission requirements at firstupdatesnow.com slash premiere24. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.